I'm going to show you what to look for in a, in a WordPress plugin and how to choose carefully uh, what plugins you do use. Now your website might need a whole bunch of features and, and things like that and you might have some grand ideas for your website. So search for a plugin that might be able to do that before engaging a developer like myself because development obviously costs time and money. Uh, costs time uh, and therefore costs you money. And the bigger the development, the more money it's going to cost you. So what you might find is something that's near what you want for free. Um, that might require just a bit of design, uh, uh, making it fit within your site and make it look nice within your site. That's about the only development design time needed. Uh, developing a plugin, you have to do both. You have to develop the plugin, which is usually quite a labour-intensive uh, process, um, and then you've got to make it look uh, nice within your site. So, what to look for in a WordPress plugin? Okay, this is really important. What compatibility is it? Is it compatible up to the latest version, which is 3.81? When was it last updated? Okay. And you can see the last updates by going to the change log of any plugin. Okay. So where you'd start from, I would suggest that you get your own account with, with WordPress, which is free. And then you can start searching plugins uh, by keywords. And you can see here the different tags. There's Twitter plugins. There's uh, widget plugins, Google plugins, images plugins, link plugins, all that sort of stuff. Okay. Now the most popular one you'll see a lot of the ones that are used a lot of the time. Now Contact Form Seven is a popular Contact Form uh, product, but it requires a fair bit of work. Um, Jetpack for WordPress. It does a lot of things, Jetpack, but geez, it, it slows your site down and it's a bunch of stuff that you don't need uh, mixed in with some stuff that's really cool, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and there's all these other types of plugins. But let's go and have a look at um, a plugin that I would suggest that you, that you never use. So here's one that you would never touch. Look at it, it's up, up, uh, compatible up to 2.32. It was last updated in 2008. That's a complete no-no. In fact, most of those plugins that aren't compatible or are, are, are outdated from the last update by a year um, will break your site. Okay, so it's really important that you take care of these two things here. When we're, what's it compatible up to? And then you can have a look at support forums and see what people have said. Um, you, know, you can see people saying fatal error, which means it's basically breaking the website. Okay, so always be very, very careful what plugin that you choose uh, for your WordPress website.